Raise your right hand, please, sir. You solemnly swear from all the evidence and testimony you're about to give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Thank you. Thomas scores 22 points on the jury and is eligible to be held in secure detention. Your Honor, the state has no objection with the score or the recommendation by the department. We're just asking for no contact with any of the victims or family members of the victims. And then we're all also asking under Florida Statute 985.26 that this case be set on the 20th day for a, a hearing to possibly extend the secure detention for an additional 21 days at that time. And have the um, alleged victim's family been advised their constitutional right to be present and be heard in each phase of the proceeding? Um, I have not had conversations with them, but I know law enforcement has, has known them. Thank you. Are the parents or guardian of the youth present? Uh, yes, Your Honor. She is. Sir, you've been charged with um, homicide, murder while engaged in a robbery, a punishable by life felony if this were an adult court. The court, uh, sir, do you wish to be heard on behalf of the youth? I know, we, we did not object to the 21 day. Probable cause is found. Furthermore, the designation of a firearm being involved is likewise uh, found as it relates to probable cause. The risk assessment instrument scores 22 points. The youth will be held in secure detention until that time. Pursuant to Florida Statute 985.26, on the 20th date, we'll go ahead and set a date now, Madam Clerk, that the youth will be returned as it relates to whether or not that detention period will be extended or not. There's to be no contact, directly or indirectly, with the victim's family. No contact means just that. No contact. Madam Clerk, the date for the return hearing, please. And I'm sure you've been advised of this. You have the right to remain silent, sir. You also have the right to an attorney if you can't afford an attorney. An attorney will be appointed to represent you. That will require that your parent or guardian, madam, uh, that you fill out an application for the appointment of the public defender's office. Has that been done? I hired an attorney. Okay, very well then. Thank you. Anything further, sir, on behalf of the youth? No, Your Honor. Thank you. Nothing to say, Your Honor. That will conclude the detention hearing. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.